what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video for those of you that are just joining us my name is Jorge and I love cars specifically I have this 2003 Mach 1 a hibernating 2019 Camaro SS my last video we actually went ahead and installed these side stripes and of course the hood stripe on my Mach 1 and it came out pretty damn awesome if I do say so myself we also got these little gloss black pony badges really really making it stand out but one thing I didn't tell you guys that happened was when I was trying to bring down my uh, windshield wipers I tried to reach over onto the second one and ended up pretty much cracking this whole piece here as you guys can see it's completely cracked and of course this is still the OEM one it's been on the car for over 15 years probably now if I, my math is correct and it's definitely been through some weathering and all that and the plastics basically got brittle so not something I was expecting to replace because it was actually in really decent condition, uh, just a little faded. But I broke it, so I had to act quick. I first went on LMR.com. Uh, they're local here near Houston. They're up in the Dallas area. And I figured they could get me something right away. But when I looked on their website, guys, these vent cowl uh, trim piece the single piece like this was almost $130. I was like, ooh, okay, never mind. So then I said, well, let me go check on American Muscle, another good source for uh, Mustang parts. And theirs were $140. So I said, man, let me go and see if I can get something a little bit cheaper because of, again, this wasn't something that I was expecting to be replacing. Um, and actually here you can see this is already cracked here too. So what I did was I went to Amazon.com. I mean, they saw everything from A to Z. So I figured maybe I'll be able to find it there. And lo and behold, sure enough, I did find it and way cheaper than you would expect, guys. As you guys can tell, this is all one single piece. And I'm assuming that's one of the reasons why this can tend to be a little more expensive. But obviously, if you look at this package, it's definitely not gonna how is that one whole piece right doesn't really match so yes I did end up going with the two-piece version which you see here comes with some clips and our two half pieces which pretty much come together to make one whole piece now I'm still a little unsure about the two-piece joint uh design but the way i see it it's got to be a lot better than this 15 year old single piece and especially i mean with that big old hole over there so let's go ahead and get these on the car and see how they fit and whether going with amazon which is by the way much much cheaper i was able to get both of these pieces for 30 dollars with free prime amazon shipping so $30 from Amazon guys with two-day free shipping if you have Amazon Prime or $130 or $140 so I'm saving myself a hundred dollars going with this two-piece design um, and let's just see how they fit if they fit well th then I mean what's the point of spending all that extra money on another design that just so it could be all a single piece here save yourself the hundred bucks and go with the 30 so let me go ahead and I'll be the guinea pig and I'll let you guys know whether the Amazon $30 one is going to fit just as well as the OEM. Okay guys, so as you guys can see this windshield wiper arm is going to be in the way of us pulling up on this plastic. So we need to remove this and to do that you can see here there's this little guide pin here. It goes across. You're going to want to pretty much pull that out so that this can just pop right off. So you, and you're gonna see it's on both the sides. So we'll go ahead and get a little flathead, pop these out, and then these can go off, and then we'll probably lift the hood up because there's probably some clips that you're gonna wanna undo under the hood. All right guys, so 
you can take these little washer fluid heads off it's got a little barb so it's a little harder to take off of the elbow but it's doable and that is how you can slide this and lock it in place there so that looks good to me there now we'll just plug it back in up down the bottom and then finish uh, with the push pin in this bottom piece I don't know if you guys will be able to see better through this side but there is a push pin there and a push pin up here so should be pretty simple and let's see how it looks when it's done okay guys so I've got this thing on here and let me tell you oof, this was a pain so fitment wise I mean it looks pretty good here I don't know how this is gonna kind of lock down because um, obviously as you guys see here it's kind of up but we want it to seal really well there but these push pins guys are a pain and I mean just look at my hands and they're very hard to get to they're right here on the edge um, again Fitzman's pretty good um, but what I had to do was basically raise the hood and it's probably better to have somebody holding the hood because you have to extend the hood outward almost kind of going backwards on the hinge just to get access to that one and to that that one over there those two push pins and even more so there's even more so they're very when you try to push them in they do not easily go in by hand uh, had to use a hammer and this socket to kind of push it, uh, hammer it down and get just enough uh, contact there guys so I'm gonna do the other side and see just how it looks when it's all said and done okay guys I've kind of got it all clipped in um, as you can see right there it does have clips and I took this one off because it wasn't locking in as you can see it's still kind of coming up and unfortunately I feel like it's even with it locking in it's gonna be kind of coming up that's just which have to deal with when you get a two piece and again save try to save a hundred dollars here but what I did was this clip I opened up the outer ends which kind of supposed to lock in place I've opened those up quite a bit um, and then I'm gonna try it in and see just what that does all right guys so what I ended up doing there was removing an OEM clip so as you guys can see here these are the little C clips that I was talking about removed the OEM one and then used that in its place and it actually looks pretty damn good I mean not completely flush but I mean that's not bad for 30 bucks I mean I'm saving myself a hundred dollars I still have to do the push pins in the bottom but um, we've got windshield washer fluid and everything and it fits pretty damn well guys got the nice lip here under the bottom side everything fits flush um, you know definitely cannot complain I mean the, it lined up perfectly um, so now let me just go ahead and put the push pins in and put the wipers back and wipe it down and show you guys the finished product okay here we go I've got it looks like it was just three pins in the bottom and everything is lining up really well look at that even the seam once I put this the clip here got nice and tight across there nothing's raised up my only little concern is that spot there where you don't have a complete seal completed all the way across but I believe there's a drain in that section there for the water to go so I think we'll be okay but all the seals everything looking good we just got to put the seal weather stripping around here and then check to make sure everything is lined up right and put the wipers back and we'll be good to go man guys look at that it actually lined up really damn well guys the seals are very very good uh, again just that little piece but the seam here in the middle is pretty much perfectly right on each other um, there's I was very worried that this seam here was gonna be off one edge was gonna be raised higher than the other or anything like that but that is really really good I'm very surprised that this fit as well as it did guys very happy with it one thing when you are putting these wipers back guys there isn't any markers to show you or guide you so you have to be very careful when you're putting these back that you are trying to line it up 
um, as close as you had the other one. So um, I'm thinking you, you guys can see the marks where the other one was sitting before, which was right there. So I'm going to try to kind of stick it in there and try to make sure it lines up. So once it's fully seated, you can raise it up and push push in the the clip and see just where it lands and as you guys can see that's pretty close to the markings that I had here and um, I think we're good there so all right so we are done ladies and gentlemen and everything is installed I've got the wipers lined up right I've already tested it made sure that you know they're coming up to where they've got to go and you do get extra clips just in case you have trouble with them or you lose them in the engine bay so that's also a plus guys and now I'm just gonna make sure and remove all these little clips because you don't know when you might need them again um, looks like this one was broken <laughs> broken off in there so um, but other than that I'm gonna remove this one and that is it guys that is the install uh, very very easy uh, can be a little bit difficult but it is done and now we have a new cowl cover and it's not <laughs> got this ugly hole in it so anyways guys really short video unexpected video I really wasn't expecting to make this video because of course that was an unintentional mistake on my part of breaking the original one but there it is that way you guys can save yourself a hundred dollars when having to replace your own cal on your mach ones or mustangs of this model year so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did hit the thumbs up button and i'll see you guys in the next one